So now we're gonna show you how to run an AFL, which is the side edge only machine. Of course you want some safety gear, obviously uh, safety glasses, a painter's mask is great to wear as well as you're running this just to keep the dust out. Um, a simple painter's mask will work. You can also use the same type of mask you would use for any type of waxing uh, as well. So you have your power source. The best is to put the power source towards the back of the bench and try to keep the fan away. If you put the power source directly underneath, it will collect some of the dust and, and affect the life of your power source. So best to have your power source towards the back of the bench. You're going to take your power cord, wire it up through underneath the ski, and again, you're going to go here uh, red to red and black to black. If you screw that up, the stone will only run the opposite direction. You want to make sure that the stone is running in counterclockwise, so you're not going to damage anything, but you definitely want to make sure the, uh, the stone is running counterclockwise, and that'll work if you put red to red and black to black on your power source. You're going to turn your power source on. I typically put the machine on the back side of the, uh, of the, of the tuning bench. Make sure that your power switch is off. Plug your power cord in, you'll feel it lock in, and then twist the cord to lock that together. Now you're gonna put your skis in the vise upright, just like you were waxing. Uh, very simple there. Before you start anything on your side edge, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get rid of the what we call the bumper on the ski, and that's just that little lip right up in on the side of the sidewall. It's not the full sidewall, which most people think. It's that bumper is what we call it, with the aluminum layer and the bumper side. I prefer an SKS tool. You can use any type of uh, sidewall tool to do this job. You just want to make sure you pull back the bumper. Just like tuning by hand with file, if you have that hard sidewall material there and the aluminum, your file won't cut. That's why a lot of edge angles are actually incorrect. Even though you think you're using a, a three degree file guide, it will roll up on that because it's nasty stuff and doesn't want to cut. The SKS tool very simply goes, just goes in and pulls away that sidewall up top. And again, it's just the bumper that you're concerned about. That just allows the machine to cut as natural as possible. Once you've done that on, your, on all of your edges, now you're ready to run the side edge. So you're gonna simply put the uh, ski in base up like you're waxing. One trick is you want to move your middle vise out just a touch and what this does is make sure that your machine doesn't hit these corners. If the ski twists in the vises you can potentially hit the stone on your vises. So just move your vise out a little bit. It gives you a little bit of room. Make sure everything's snugged up nice and tight. Now you've got your power source on. First thing you're going to do is set your angle. Here we want to tune at three degrees. So we, we work on effective angles. So three degrees is 87 degrees. If I wanted to uh, tune at two degrees, I would go to 88. Again, the not very nice thing with AFL is that I can back it off an edge if I'm using the core stone and then go back to 88 with a medium stone if I were doing any of that type of thing. First thing, you again, the way the snow glide works, you have the two trays, and this is your clutch, if you will. This engages or disengages the stone. So I'm simply going to take the lower tray, push it against the edge. Now you'll hear that the stone is rubbing. Now I've disengaged, the stone is not rubbing. I want to do one pass just to make sure I'm not going to hit anything and my cable is not going to get caught up. Everything is clear. So now simply with the lever pulled towards me, what I need to focus on is just holding this lower tray. The upper tray will do everything you can. Try to keep your hands away. Try not to push the upper tray. Let the upper tray do its work on its own. So you're gonna simply reach over and fire up the machine. Now you have the machine running. You can roll very easily into the tip. Now you're gonna let go just like driving a car. And as soon as you engage, you're gonna run this all the way to the end. The cadence should be about eight seconds from tip to tail for a traditional type of ski. Then you can go back and make another pass very simply. Again, cadence is about eight to 10 seconds for about a 180. Once you've made your passes, shut the machine off. As soon as the sound stops, you can put the, the uh, machine down. So again, you can see, very simple to use this machine. Make some noise and throw some sparks, but you'll be an expert in no time. All you need to do to finish this edge now, because the finish is so fine and so clean on this edge, all we do is use a simple ceramic stone. This one happens to be made by Spyderco. It's a double-sided stone. This is a very, very fine ceramic stone.
I run this once on the base edge, really with no pressure, just very light. And then one pass on the top edge. And again, I just lay the stone on there and let the stone do the work. That'll give you a super buttery edge. Then you want to take your gummy stone and just simply dull your tips and tails as you prefer. That's personal preference, of course. With race skis, typically you stay pretty sharp from tip to tail. The last step is just to take a, a, a rag or a paper towel and just wipe the edge. This just puts a fine little polish, knocks that last little nicks down and just gives you that buttery, buttery edge, snow glide type of edge.